this time, I'd like to invite Laura Doherty to please come on up. She'll be presenting a Westbecker Excellent School Recognition for a school that she's rightly proud of, Hampstead Hill Academy. Well, good evening, everybody. It is such a pleasure to introduce this year's recipient of the Wesley Becker Excellent School Award. I am so pleased to see many of our other great Baltimore educators here supporting their sister school, so let's hear it for Baltimore. <laughs> Woo! All right. And I'll, I'll tell you, it means a lot to do this in front of Jerry Silbert and Gary Davis. Um, Jerry changed the direction of my life by introducing me to DI when I was a grad student at Oregon. And between him and Gary, they taught me most of what I know about instruction. And then we have Jeff Colvin here who taught me most of what I know about behavior. Um, I also want to give a big thanks to Nifty uh, for supporting the school and many others in Baltimore very intensely for many years and in lots of ways right up to today. So on to Hampstead Hill. Hampstead Hill is a conversion charter school um, in Baltimore. That means that it is a traditional school that converted to charter status, but it still serves its neighborhood. And it has a wonderfully diverse population of students. Hampstead Hill has been using direct instruction since 1997. That fact alone is worthy of celebration. <laughs> but there's more. Uh, Matt Hornbeck has been principal of HHA for 20 years, over 20 years, and we have worked closely this entire time. As a principal, he has built an extraordinary staff, about 20 of whom are here with us today. And uh, he, they, they, they've been really great for some time now. So, so I'm not sure why I waited 20 years to nominate them. <laughs> I don't know, but I do know they, they keep getting better every year. So it was worth the wait to have this particular group of great people here on the 50th anniversary of this conference. Uh, the, the staff just kill it with their DI tools, and their students grow. Uh, year after year, they show up. You know, are you familiar with the map, the measure of academic progress, where they've got the quadrants? Year after year after year, they're in high achievement, high growth. And they do very well on our terrible, absurdly difficult state test. Um, <laughs> they, um, they, do, they do well with all of their student groups. And they are the highest scoring K-8 school in Baltimore and among the best in the state. They are in an undersized facility and frequently have class, uh, yeah, mm -hmm, that struck a chord, and frequently have class sizes in the mid 30s and above, um, and they still manage to get all their students reading on grade level, and usually two thirds of them are at least a year above. Principal Hornbeck strives to bring, as he says, more and better opportunities to his students. He and his staff have continuously improved their programming in nearly every conceivable way. They have developed maybe the richest set of school-based offerings I've ever seen. However, in the world of education where ideas and programs come and go at a rapid rate, he recognizes that he has in use the single best set of instructional tools to meet the needs of all of his students. Principal Hornbeck has always said that the DA programs are the engine that drive the school and make all the other things possible. I am deeply grateful for his exemplary support of our instructional model, as I am grateful for our many years of friendship. Please offer a round of applause to Matt Hornbeck and the HHA staff. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, Owen. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Nifty, for everything. Thank you, Hampstead Hill. You guys are the love of my life. <laughs> what a joy it is to be with everyone in Oregon tonight. I'm here not only as a proud principal, but a grateful principal. 
On behalf of the exceptionally talented staff at Hampstead Hill Academy, I want to thank you for giving us the West Becker Excellence School Award. This recognition is a testament to the dedication and passion of every individual, including, as Laura said, the 20 wonderful staff members here with us tonight and 90 more back in Maryland who pour their heart and soul into our school community every day. First, allow me to share a lighthearted story, one that perfectly speaks to the spirit of perseverance and determination at HHA. This morning, I had the pleasure and challenge of attempting to keep pace with Laura Doherty, <laughs> my beloved mentor, colleague, and friend, and as you all know, the president of the Baltimore Curriculum Project. Laura, being the force that she is, effortlessly completed a six-mile run while I managed half of that. <laughs> it's moments like this that remind me of the incredible drive and commitment our team at HHA and BCP uh, embody, always striving to exceed expectations. Now, what did I learn this morning? Next time I have a 5.45 go time with Laura, I won't stay out as late with staff. <laughs> and, and clearly, I needed a little more distributed practice. <laughs> Let's just say I'm firmly in the middle group, not the high group, when it comes to running, and this morning I was incorrectly placed and in desperate need of a DI coach. <laughs> None of our accomplishments at school would be possible without Laura and her wonderful team at BCP, including Brianna Kaufman and Maura, uh, Maura Far Farrell, who are out here in Oregon with her now. BCP Human Resources Administrator Angela Scott basically saves my bucket every day. I honestly don't know what I'd do without these people. I'd also like to shout out the one person other than family who's made the biggest difference in my professional life. I would have not found my life's work and without the support and guidance of Dr. Muriel Berkeley. As, as I'm sure many of you full well know, I'm just one of the many people Muriel found and mentored but she has an, outplaced si an outsized place in my heart, and I love her. Muriel and now Laura's longtime leadership at BCP has been instrumental in shaping HHA's journey towards excellence. And I would have to mention Aniuzuka Hidiana, who, when I was, I'm, I'm, I'm 57, but when I was 36, I couldn't have been more scared of one human being. <laughs> I felt like I was constantly playing catch up and that I was merely a puppet government to her <laughs> direction. We all work. <laughs> excellence that's, the excellence that we embody at school is firmly grounded in moving all of our students as quickly as possible from learning to read to reading to learn. To them and to every member of our staff here tonight, including teachers, assistant principals, our social worker, our wonderful substitute teachers, a, a fantastic pre-K assistant teacher, a terrific ESAW para, and our superb behavioral specialist, I want you to know how grateful I am to know you and to work with each of you. It is through our collective effort that we stand proudly among the top schools in Maryland for elementary and middle school performance, as Laura said, and are significantly narrowing the achievement gap across our diverse student body. Our success isn't just in numbers, it's in the transformative impact we have on each student's life, instilling a love of learning and a love for each other from their earliest days through eighth grade. From ages four to 14, we have 917 kids. I want to also acknowledge two key visionaries who paved the way before us. Zig Engelman and Wes Becker, whose influence continues to shape educational practices in Maryland, the United States, and the world, and to make a profound difference. Wes Becker famously said that we should, quote, catch kids in the act of being good, a philosophy that resonates deeply with our mission at HHA. In closing, receiving the Wes Becker Excellent School Award is not just an accolade, it's a validation of HHA's commitment to fostering a nurturing environment with talented staff teaching DI with fidelity, making it far more likely that every child will thrive. I'm honored to serve as a talent manager, which should be my title rather than principal, <laughs> for such an extraordinary team where our great curriculum combines with dedication, love, and humility, as Superintendent Sovo put it so well a few days ago, to form the bedrock of everything we do. Thank you for believing in us, for supporting us, and for celebrating with us tonight. 
Together we'll continue to inspire young minds and lift up the legacy of excellence, of course driven by the engine of school improvement that is direct instruction and that defines Hampstead Hill. Thank you so much. Yeah.